Return coach to Dover in three hours. Allow me, my dear. I can do it myself, thank you very much. And I am not your dear. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> Holly for the season, ma'am. <laughs> I'm going to see my niece. Excuse me. Make way. <laughs> oh. Oh. Don't they know I'm going to see my niece? <laughs> ah. Lovely. Oh, evening, Mum. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, are we on yet, Dad? You're doing fine, son. Peggy, Peggy. Oh, now where is that woman? Coming, Doctor Chillip. I'm coming. We need more, Peggy. More hot water. Uh, yes, Doctor. Uh, yes. <laughs> Yes! Move! Three more workers for the factory! Toss yeah. them inside and be quick about it! <laughs> Any more noise? And your turkey stuffing! Piggity? <laughs> uh, uh, now don't ask me to fetch more hot water, Doctor. We have enough to deliver ten babies! <laughs> oh, yes. The baby should have arrived by now. Babies don't need clocks. They know exactly when to be born. Don't worry, Clara. Everything will be all right. I know, Peggy. With you here. Yeah! Oh! There. That's the place, Bimby. Ooh, very nice. The widow Copperfield owns it, and I'm going to marry her. Mmm, very nice. Yeah! I don't care how long it takes. It's a boy. David, after his father. A fine and noble man he was. Mr. Copperfield would have loved him. But life goes on. It's time for joy. Hello, Davy, my darling little boy. Oh, oh he's going to be a handful, he is. <laughs> He'll need a father one day. One day, perhaps. But now, young Davy has us. I'm here, Aunt Betsy. My niece. Show me my niece. <laughs> Your niece? Are you making fun of me? What? Oh, no. No. Aunt Betsy, come see the little darling. Oh, yes, my darling little girl. But... I shall give her all that I have. In fact, I give her my name, Betsy Trotwood Copperfield. But my... Oh, my. You are a beauty. Oh, I swear. You have my eyes. Don't you think? Oh, I agree. He does have your eyes. He? Did you say he? I, I did. She did. Say hello to your Aunt Betsy, David. <laughs> David. Isn't he the sweetest thing? No, I want a niece. Well, you have a nephew. Be thankful. I don't want a nephew. I want a niece. 
I hate boys. Boys turn into men, and men. <laughs> well, where's my baby girl? Where's my sweet little pearl? Where's my bundle of joy? Show me. I came all this way. Now you're daring to say that the baby's a boy. Show me. Doctor, doctor, I want my niece. Bring her now. him again. Don't you know that boys will grow up to be men? I hate boys. I hate boys. I hate, I hate boys. Boys make too much noise, making all their toys. All they do is fight. Dirt. Always getting hurt. They just scratch and bite. Spare me. Doctor, doctor, what sheer deceit. I want a girl who is soft and sweet. Doctor, doctor, I want her now. I bought all these bonnets, fancy frills and lace. Only a girl deserves my embrace. Trotwood. Poor Aunt Betsy. She'll change her mind one day. She can stay in Dover for all I care. Look at him, will you? Not a care in the world. We must keep him that way, Peggotty. Aye, we will, Clara. We will. Uh, excuse me. Oh. I wonder if I might have some hot water. What? I mean for my tea. Oh. <laughs> Why, the little rascal already has a sense of humor. He <laughs> takes off his Aunt Betsy. Oh. <laughs> Happy birthday, Davy. Oh. Thank you both, and Merry Christmas. A piece of birthday cake, uh, please. You don't need it. You have a job to do, and I have a job to do. We're partners, are we not? Yes, but your part is always more. Oh, can't I come, please? I've never been to a birthday party. No, you get the workers, and I get the money for expenses. <laughs> Plus a little extra for Murdstone and Grinby, mayhaps. <laughs> Quite a little extra. <laughs> Do you think she will no, marry you? Of course. She's lonely. The boy needs a father. And I'm the owner of a partner in England's most successful cheese business. Tell me, how much money does she have then? Enough. I'm going to propose to her tonight. Ooh. Now go, Mr. Grimby, and fetch us some uh, workers. <laughs> I think I'll try down by the orphanage. Very good. And stop sucking that tail. Look bright, cheerful, both of you. There, that's better. After all, it is Christmas. Now get a move on. Yeah! Glad a Copperfield. Soon I shall relieve you of the burden of young widowhood. <laughs> Thank you both. Can we have the cake? 
We should wait until Mr. Murdstone comes. I don't like Mr. Murdstone, Mother. Oh, please try. He's rude, and he's scary, and he's... Hush now, Davy. It's Christmas. And it's your birthday, darling. Please don't be so upset. I'm sorry. Shall we show him the surprise? <laughs> surprise? Father's study? I can't think of a better day to finally open it up. <gasps> oh, coming through. Now I know you thought it'd be all Peggy? cobwebby, but... Well, I've been keeping it dusted over the years. What's this? Surprise number two, my darling. Why, it's wonderful. <laughs> it was your father's and... Huh? You can play it. <laughs> Surprise number three! Peggotty, what have you been up to? Well, you see, young Davy was in here looking for a book. And, well, his curiosity... I wanted to surprise you. He took to it like... Like his father. I know. Thank you. It's been a most wonderful surprise. <laughs> Edward. I let myself in. Obviously. Shh. It's so nice of you to come, Edward. I know it's your busiest time. Miss your child's birthday, Clara? Never. I'm not a child. Davy, manners, please. I've just had the most wonderful surprise. Davy can already play the harpsichord. Yes, so I've heard. Clara, my dear, I wonder if we might have some time mm -hmm. alone. I'd like to ask you... Some cake, Mr. Murdstone? What? Uh, uh, yes, yes, thank you, boy. Um, David. You're welcome, Mr. Murdstone. In more tea? We plan to sing Christmas carols by the fire and then have dinner. Peggotty's cooked a most wonderful turkey. Perhaps after that you could... After dinner, I plan to sing a song I've written for my mother. Oh, I, I see. Uh, well, um... <clears throat> oh, I must get back to the factory. Oh, what a shame. But I thought you wanted to ask me something. It can wait. Oh. I didn't get where I am today by reading romantic rubbish or wasting time with musical playthings. Oh, uh, I almost forgot. Happy birthday. Oh, Edward, how thoughtful. Don't be rude. Take it. Davy, please. Thank you. You're welcome. Boy. I strongly recommend you study it. It might take your mind off the frivolities you seem to favour. Don't bother to see me to the door, Clara. I know the way. Could have been more civil. I can't help it, Mother. I'll never like him. He even remembered your birthday. He wants to take care of you, Davy, and me too. He's just the kind of man to give you a proper upbringing. <laughs> No! What? He's mean. Now, Davy, that's a very strong... He is. He's a terrible man. And if you marry him, Mother, he'll make you so unhappy. David, enough. Besides, Mr. Murdstone hasn't asked me to marry him. He will. Well, if he does, maybe I'll accept. Mm -hmm. But, Mother... Davy, we need someone to protect us. Someone strong. You have me. We do need a man. But you have me. I'll give you love, keep you close to me. No one in the world will ever hurt you. I swear that.
behaving. You'll always be my hero. Oh. Then you won't marry Mr. Murdstone? Darling. Promise me you won't. I... I can't. Oh, Davy, don't get so worked up. Hmm. Huh. Smile, please. Master Murdstone. My name is Copperfield. No, oh dear. I... Get on with it, man. Smile, please. <coughs> Make a lovely couple, don't they? Mm. Me and Mr. Murdstone is partners. How nice. Mr. Grinby, be so kind as to take this one and the boy home. <gasps> You've done it. You've married your rich widow. Don't I always accomplish what I set out to do? <laughs> Davy, I'm doing what's best for all of us. You'll see. Cheer up. I'll try, Mother. I do love you. Oh, thank you, Davy. Now, shall we celebrate? I got the feeling that Mr. Murdstone has other plans. Indeed he has. Come along, Clara. <laughs> Don't worry about those two. Grimby will see to them. But, Edward, we've just... Lawyers cost money. Mustn't keep them waiting. Lawyers? Oh, your will. We did discuss it. Yes, I, I did agree to change it, but now? Trust me. In business, timing is everything. Edward, marriage isn't a business. Oh, come along. It's wrong. <laughs> love sometimes doesn't make sense, Davy. Yeah! Mother doesn't love him. She thinks I need a father. That's why she married him. That's not why he married her. <laughs> they are married now, Davy. I know. You will try to accept it? I'll try. Pretend we're on a desert island and a storm is brewing. My Davy, them books sure fire up the imagination. Those books are filled with meaningless fantasy. Give that to me. Here, do something <gasps> useful. Oh. Go away. Let me go. It's time for a little parental guidance. <laughs> Oh, poor, poor Davy. Now here's a book worth reading. All right, lad. Let's see your imagination deal with that. Edward, is something the matter? Mother. Oh. Why won't you let my mother see a doctor? Please, Davy. Don't worry, darling. I know what's best for her, boy. Take her to her room. Oh. Oh. Leave me alone, you despicable. Despicable? My, my. You are well read. My mother needs a doctor. Your mother, Mrs. Murdstone, is my responsibility. And you, my son, are no longer going to imagine life, but experience it. I need you. <laughs> Those foolish books and music have given you a false sense of reality, boy. Life is hard. 
and at times quite cruel. One wrong move and you can be crushed. No. <laughs> There's a time for everything. And it's time for you to pack. Pack? Why? Where am I going? Going? Why, my boy, you're going to work. <laughs> Partners, eh? I'm freezing my tail out here while he lords it up in there. Clara! Clara! You should be grateful that we're able to offer your son a position. But in a cheese factory? So, you find my life's work disgusting? Oh, Edward, I... You, who've never had to do a day's work? Please, I... I'm ready. You'll be staying with a Mr. Micawber and his family. An old associate of mine and eminently respectable. Now, say goodbye to your mother. <coughs> Don't worry, mother. I'll be your hero. Oh, Davy. Davy, you mustn't forget these. Peggotty. Oh, go. <coughs> <coughs> oh, a tearful farewell. Why did you marry my mother? You don't love her. Love? <laughs> Is that what your books have taught you? <laughs> no! We meet again, Master Birdstone. <laughs> you can let go of me. I'm not going to run away. Get in! <laughs> Don't wake me till we're in London. There's something wrong with this partnership. <laughs> Have I done the right thing, Peggy? Oh, things will turn out all right. He won't get the best of our Davy. What kind of position will I have in your business? What kind? Yes, sir. Brindy! The boy wants to know what kind of position he'll have. Kind? <laughs> you mean unkind? <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Mr. Grimby. Very funny. I don't get the joke, sir. You will, lad. You will. <laughs> Remember? Hiya! Stop! Stop! Why? What's the... the... The Duke! What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Huh? Where am I? Oh, why now? Why at night? Is he here for the rent? He mustn't go into the warehouse. I know that. Take the back way and stop him. Stop? The Duke? What do I say? Well, I don't know. Offer him some cheese or something. There's been a change of plan. Oh, uh, you're hurting me. Get used to it. You can't tell me what to do. I am your legal guardian, and I can do anything I want with you. Not if I can help it. I'll soon break your spirit. Sir, what are you doing to that boy? I asked you a question, sir. You refused to answer the daughter of a duke? Oh. Ah, the Lady Agnes. L lady? Well, why are you harming this boy? I I'm not a boy. He's right. He's not a boy. He's my stepson. Oh? And I was a 
Just straightening his tie. Oh. One must look one's best in the presence of aristocracy. I should hope so. Speaking of aristocracy, where is the Duke? Not gone inside, I hope. Why shouldn't he go inside? He owns all this. Ah! Behave yourself, boy. I'm not a boy. Only boys forget their manners. Oh, I am truly sorry, fair maiden. Allow me to introduce myself. <laughs> That's better. I am Davy Copperfield, Esquire, recently arrived native of Blunderstone. Um, is this London? You silly goose. Of course it is. London at its most disgusting. Good. Now I've seen the worst. It can only get better. Uh, <laughs> Father tells me there's a cheese factory beyond these gates. Oh, smells like it. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm going to be a writer of books one day. Books? I love books! Really? Have you read The Three Musketeers? Yes! I've read it five times. One for all... And all, and all for, for one! one. <laughs> I say, it is a pity we can't watch you cheese chappies at work. So sorry to disappoint you, my lord. You're leaving? Father just brought me on a whim. We were at a boring party. W will I ever see you again? Oh, you must. I say, darling, Merby and Greenstone here thought we came to collect the rent. <laughs> Is that why they look so anxious? Well, anxious or not, I'm afraid your curiosity will have to wait in regard to cheese making. The workers, you see, they need their sleep. Their work is honest and hard. We could come back tomorrow, Father. Tomorrow? Uh, I, I just remembered tomorrow we're installing new safety measures for our dear workers. Jolly good. Another time, when we happen to be passing. To the castle, Jenkins. Come on! Oh, oh. Goodbye. Bye! Stop! Mr. Murdstone, would you... And your stepson, join us for tea? Oh, uh... Tea? Mmm! Let's say, uh, next Saturday? All right, Father? It will. I, uh, it... We'd love to come. Oh, wonderful! We'll see you then. Goodbye, Davy. Goodbye. Uh... My name is Agnes! Goodbye, Agnes! You oh. are nothing but trouble, boy. Hm. Ow! Where are you taking me? To meet your fellow workers. <laughs> you said they were asleep. <laughs> they wouldn't dare be asleep. What is that? Tell the lad, Mr. Grimby. Why, that is your new home. You there! Speed it up! Almost saw you that time, Neely. Really. Almost doesn't count. <laughs> Silence! Thank you. I want you all to welcome a new addition to our family. <laughs> <laughs> you see before you a gentleman. I say we give him a gentleman's welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to my where. You could come. Uh, uh, uh. Welcome to my warehouse. You're as ripe as a plum. Uh, uh, uh. We fixed the place up special. We've Ooh. even polished up your chains. <laughs> Look at all our smiling guests. Not one of them complains. <laughs> we'll always try to keep in mind, Davy. That you're the upper crust. So pardon us when you turn green on dirt and smoke and dust. Welcome to my warehouse. You can live here in style. Welcome to my warehouse. Hope you'll stay here a while. Yeah. Dinner time. You'll get. 
soggy gruel and moldy bread. Slicing cheese on aching knees until you wish that you were dead. Please don't mind how hard we push you. You'll have your chance to scream. I'm <laughs> glad you come to this ugly dungeon. Join our happy team. <laughs> Shiny shoes. We got a jet oh. among us. Oh. Isn't that oh. lovely news? <laughs> Welcome to my warehouse. Time to roll up your sleeve. Oh. Welcome to my warehouse. When no one <laughs> that needs you. tell you about that first step. Where are you going so early? To answer the door. Let him knock. Go back to sleep. But that wouldn't be polite. Polite? My, my. Wait! Open up! Open up, Macoba! Pay your debts! No more credit! We want our money now, or we'll break down the door! Mr. Macabre has left me and the little ones all alone. I don't believe it. Leaving his wife and children. Oh, a terrible thing. Unspeakable. What will we do now? <gasps> well, what are you looking at me for? You're the biggest. Thank oh, you, Mealy. I was running out of excuses. Davy Copperfield, welcome to our madhouse. You know my name? Been expecting you for quite some time. You have? Davy's a real gentleman. Oh, my. Tis a great pleasure to meet a gentleman. A gentleman should remove his hat. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that back. <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, don't hurt him, really. They likes their workers fit and able. Come on, he could help you. If he tried. Oh no! Yeah, enough now. You have a long, hard day ahead. Besides, the Mister should be here any minute. Without breakfast? You don't think we'd let you darlings go without? Hungry? Oh, yes. Huh? Mm -hmm. It has become an ever more arduous challenge to outwit one's creditors. Why, in the old days, all I had to do was... Mr. Micawber, listen, do you hear that rumbling and growling? <laughs> The cry of the savage Tum Tum reminds me of the time I was mayor of Mr. New Guinea. Mr. Harbour, please. What I mean to say is, anyone for breaking the fast? Yeah! <laughs> That's one plate we won't have to wash, Mother. Bless the boy. I hope they won't be too hard on him the first day. Oh, don't worry about this one, Mrs. Micawber. He can take whatever they give him. Whimpering. Mom! 
move! Come on, up it! Come on, get a move on! You're too slow to go last. That's Come it! Go on, and don't you dare complain! Do a good day's work! Oh, no supper! Why are the Micobas acting so mean? If Murdstone found out they're kind to us, he'd chuck them out. Just play along. Take them away, officers, before I take a whip to them. Go on, you lollygagging layabouts. When I become prime minister, I'll polish the palace floors with ya. Don't overdo it, Wilkins. Sorry, Pat, I'm deeply into the role. Move! Move! Oh, goody. We have now cornered the north of England's cheese market. Very good. <laughs> And most of the West Country. Excellent. <laughs> but it's not enough. I want it all, Mr. Grimby. <laughs> There's no reason why we can't control the world cheese market. There isn't. No one can make cheese cheaper than Murdstone and Grimby. <laughs> no one's thought of using free labor. <laughs> Oh, others think of it. We do it. Ugh, if only there wasn't the rent to pay. If only. We'd have all the money we need to expand. Oh. Expand? Oh, I love expanding. <laughs> Except... Except what? The Duke wants a fortune for this factory. Such a fortune is almost in my hands. It is? Clara Copperfield's health is not improving, especially since her boy never answers her letters. Oh, what? Oh, oh. Ooh, ah. naughty, naughty, Mr. Murdstone. Ooh, merely good business, Mr. Grimby. Soon our little cheese works will become an empire! Is the, um... <laughs> Will in order? Just a matter of her signature. But that's important. She wants her Davy to look at it first. Oh. Oh, dear. Oh, if only he would answer her letters. But if she dies before she signs... We forge her name. You haven't forgotten your former trade, have you? Oh, no. It's like riding a bicycle. You never forget. Good. So... We wait. But there's still the boy. He won't know his own name when we're through with him. Ah, and if he doesn't know his own name, then... We can have him put away. And the Copperfield fortune will be ours, free and clear. Ours, yes. Let's crush the lad. Crush? Yes, yes, crush. You know, squeeze, <laughs> throttle, squash, crush. We don't have to lift a finger to crush the lad. We don't? The work will do it for us. Ah, the work. He's soft, Mr. Grimby, soft. He'll be crushed before the week is up. <laughs> I wish you wouldn't do that. Just imagine, Mr. Grimby, a life of riches and luxury. Hey, look out! <laughs> Leave them. But they almost got squashed. Almost doesn't count. They'll learn. I'm not doing this 20 hours a day. Can't we just run away? Oh, sure. We all try running away. But no one's ever made it. I will. First, there's the wall. I'll climb it. Then, there's the moat. I'll swim it. Then, there's the <laughs> cheese police. I'll fight them. All right. I won't fight them. But I'll sneak past them. Maybe you can do all those things, Davy. I can. But you can't escape from the cheese monster. The cheese monster? What's that? Oh, Davy. It's a horrible creature. She can catch the quickest of us, no matter what we try. Did she ever catch you? I felt her giant claws close around my arms and whoosh! I always wanted to fly, but not like that. Ooh, I was scared, Davy. Phew. Face it, you might as well make the best of it. I will make the best of it. Hey, no tricks. I'm supposed to look after you till you learn the... Uh, ropes? What's he doing? Trying to escape from the inside? 
poor lad's lids flip. Help me pull. Uh, even if you pull that ceiling down, we can't escape. Don't talk. Pull. If it makes trouble for Murdstone and Grimby, count me in. <laughs> pull. I'll be a macabre's uncle. From a book called Robinson Crusoe. You can read? Of course. Can't you? That's a laugh. None of us can read. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. Be Robinson Crusoe. Teach us all his tricks. <laughs> leads to great expectations. Oh, we can't have that. Misery, on the other hand, keeps them down where they belong. That Davy's a nuisance, he is. Put him in the tower for the night. You want us to beat him, too? It might speed up the process. Will you teach me to read? Of course. Thanks. And I'll teach you... All my tricks. Yeah. Oh, oh, well, coming for us. Yeah. Run. Hey, Catch us if you can. More freedom of God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, oh. Hello. <laughs> they slowed you down, didn't I? Doesn't matter. They always catch us anyway. You know, it's not as scary as I thought up here. <laughs> <laughs> she can't get in. She? The monster. The monster lives up here? Just ignore her. Ignore her? Oh, I'll try. You know, Davy, the worst thing about the tower is there is nothing to do. Want to hear a story? A story? Davy, you're a gem. Once upon a time, there were three musketeers. I've never been so bored in my life. The Crimea. Now there was a... Father, we invited Mr. Murdstone and his stepson. Why aren't they here? Huh? Who? Oh. Oh, Davy, why haven't you come? Mother... Peggotty and beautiful Agnes, have you forgotten me? Is there anyone, anyone to guide me? Is there To stand beside me Is there Just one heart I can be A part of Is there Anyone Who won't turn Davy? I want him to learn both shifts! Both? <laughs> both, Mr. <laughs> Grimby! Both shifts it is! Go 
California slugs talk to your hours, right? Whoa! <laughs> One hour. And don't be late, or else... <laughs> the cheese monster will get ya. <laughs> oh, Davy, it's not all your fault I got a beating. Of course it is. Well, anyway, I've had worse. You have? Sure. Smile. We have a whole hour till our next shift. <laughs> Macabre, we got your corner now. Ooh, you think we've got troubles? Come on. You might as well come out, Macabre. We know you're in there. What? He said, is he there? What? I didn't hear you. I said, no, he isn't there. And stop poking me. I told you that Mr. Macabre is at the North Pole, helping with the banana harvest. Bananas at the North Pole? Well, the South Pole, then. I don't believe a word of it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see him? No, and get me out of here! Oh, now look what's happened. Terribly sorry. Care for a banana? You, you, you stop pulling my ears! I can't get a grip on anything else. Am I to understand that you gents are looking for a Mr. Wilkins Micawber Esquire? Uh, that's right. <laughs> Elusive chap, isn't he? Allow me. Much obliged. Oh. Careful. <laughs> Lovely morning. You? Me, sir. L. M. L. M. McCorber, that's who him. We meet at last. How's the view? Well, did him. Right. You. <laughs> 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 Thank you, gents. That chimney needed a cleaning. <clears throat> Drop in any time. Parting is such sweet joy. Oh, thank you. Thank you. How kind. Feel free to contribute a prodigious donation to my spacious fedora. You are the best there is, Macabre. Oh, you flatter me, dear boy. I have threepence, sir. Will that help? Oh, put it away. He was just joking. Master Potatoes, please, don't deprive our young friend of an opportunity to be charitable. You won't regret your investment, I assure you. Is there anything to eat, Mr. Macabre? Afraid we're out of luck, Davy. He's empty-handed this morning. Sir, how dare you shatter the poor lad's illusions. Of course he can eat. Emma, dear, loyal love. I await your command, partner in life. Some eggs and bacon for the boy, topped off with a dozen hot buttered scones and a random jam tart. Ooh. The larder's been empty for two days, I'm sorry to say. Disaster! Please don't despair, Davy. Opportunities await just beyond the horizon. They do? I ain't never seen one. You're blinded by your lack of hope. Use your imagination. Practice the art of wishful thinking. Why, it has made me what I am today. That's the truth. Indeed. You must always believe that something is going to turn up. <laughs> Come along. Follow me. Something's going to turn up. Believe me when you reach for the sun. gonna turn up, believe me, if you go to extremes. Doesn't matter if you step on a nail, doesn't Ow! matter if you trip on a pail, doesn't matter if they drag you to jail. Imagination.
gonna turn up Believe me If we trust in our hearts Come along Something's going to turn up Any second Poor lads They have no one Ah, they have us Oh, a fine help we are Murdstone and Grimby have us trapped worse than them. Something will turn up. I wish I had your faith, darling provider. I have ample faith for us both. Oh, I have written. Trouble, dear boy? Yes, that note you gave me was from Peggotty. Shh, please. If word gets out that I have ignored certain rules concerning the mail, I may soon be seeking employment elsewhere, if I'm lucky. Not one of my letters reached my mother. Ah, that is a shame. It's Murdstone's doing. I know it is. But I'll fix that, thanks to you. Shh! Don't even think about thanking me. If Messrs. M and G caught me consorting with a Copperfield... I know, Mr. Micawber, but I beg of you, do me this one last favor. See that Peggotty gets this? Oh, oh, that one hour off sure goes by fast. Couldn't sleep? No. Can't be late. Don't want to give old Slobbertail another excuse to beat us. Remember? Work hard, keep your noses clean, and you just might live to work another day. So this is how you send my workers to me. Go on, you scruffy lot, before I beat you black and blue. My stepson wouldn't be receiving certain privileges, would he? He's lucky the missus and I beat him only twice a day. Save your lies for the merchants, Micawber. Wilkins! My Romeo! I... <gasps> Mr. Murdstone. I was about to remind your Romeo that under no circumstances is my stepson to be given preferential treatment. We treat the boy like any other worker. You have my personal word of honour, sir. I'll have more than that if I discover otherwise. Cutting off your funds will be the least of your troubles. Not allergic to cheese, are they? No! Sir, you wouldn't dare! Kidnapping orphans is evil enough, but to contemplate using my very own children? Temper, temper, Mr. Micawber. Wilkins, please! There's nothing we can do! Do you understand? Say yes, Mr. Murdstone. Yes, Mr. Murdstone. Uh, oh! ah! Come on! I'm coming. She's no sack of feathers, you know. You're telling me? Move! Ah! Ah! We don't get these shackles to the cheese factory tonight. We don't get paid. Aye, that Murdstone's a hard one, he is. Oh, pity those kids. Oh, you call that cruel? Fine, cook your own supper. I don't know what they've done to you, but I'll soon find out. <gasps> Davy? <laughs> Wait! Mo! You're late again! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Evening, boss. I love it when you call me boss. <laughs> Somehow, I'm going to escape, Mealy. Wish I could help you, Davy. But if I can't escape, nobody can. The cheese monster will hunt you down, no matter where you go. It's the smell. We've all got <gasps> cheese. 
Them. Some say they used to be like us. Children. One of Murdstone's cheesy experiments went wrong. Murdstone. Yes, he invented a, a kind of cheeseless cheese. And then it turned to mold, and anyone who touched it, well, well, they went moldy too. Poor creatures. Whatever they've got, it's catching. Is there any cure? Sure. Just don't let the moldies touch you! Ah! <laughs> Why, you... <laughs> you two, back to work! Oh. Move! Sleep, Davy. I can handle it for a while. <gasps> Whoa! <gasps> Davy! Davy, what have they done to you? You know him? Is he all right? Uh, Agnes! Is this a dream? I care, Davy. I care. Huh? She said she cares. And then you said, huh? Your song? Is there anyone who will let me love them? Is there anyone? You, you heard? We all heard, sadly enough. Oh. Uh oh Another trip to the tower. Your father awaits, young lady. He awaits by the gates. <laughs> How did you find me? When we sniff around, it's no great challenge to distinguish cheese from French perfume. We followed our noses. Children shouldn't play dangerous games. Why aren't you learning your trade, guards? Why, you... I'm telling my father about you. Oh, we're doomed. Your father, you will soon discover, is in no mood to listen. <laughs> it's humiliating. Father, the workers are all children. I, the Duke of Catcher, having to apologize to a, a merchant. They treat them like slaves. Poor Davy had passed out from sheer exhaustion. If word gets round, I'll be a laughingstock. I can hear the prince now. Mm. I say, Duke, understand your daughter disrupted the cheese works the other night. Oh, the shame. Oh, Father, you'll never understand. Oh, Peggotty, I'm so sorry. Now I have two reasons for escaping. Mother and Agnes. I'd like to help you, mate, but, well, I've tried every way possible. I think I know a way. That's what we all say. Look, Davy, even if you do escape, you've got to make it through there. I know you can read books, but can you read the streets? Read the streets? How do you read a street? I don't understand. I know you don't. All right, listen to me. If you want to get along in the city, you got to be pretty shrewd. <laughs> Study me and learn the ropes, little brother. It's all in your attitude. See the way I strut and I swagger. Show them all your shop as a dagger Let them know you're on this town Cause you can't back down And run that pet Can let them see you sweat You gotta be street smart Quick and sly and street smart Won't get bad of your street smart Don't be shy, be street smart Hold it till you apart Wait. Let them know you got your own way of walking 
If you want to make them shake, little brother, you can be a powder puff. <laughs> Never flinch and fidge and flutter, or you find yourself in the gutter when they try to crush your toes and steal your clothes and eat your bread. Just keep one step ahead. What? Two days before she died, she made a new will. And now uh, it's missing. Who? Clara Coverfield. She has it, of course. There's no one else. How could she have it if she's gone? The fat servant, you fool. Peggotty. Oh, well, she isn't so fat. But she's rather sweet. <laughs> uh, Peggotty has it, does she? Uh, then let's go to Blunderstone and get it. No. No? She'll come to us. Remember, little Davy still doesn't know about his mother. Someone will have to tell him. So we wait. And then we take. And then we destroy. <laughs> and all will be as it once was. Uh -huh. <laughs> Her will, could you hide it? Don't worry, I know a place where it will be safe. Davy? Oh. Oh, Davy? No. I'm so sorry, but the poor darling never doubted your love. And, of course, she left you everything. Murderer! You killed my mother! Mr. Grimby, be so kind as to search the boy. Oh, with pleasure. <laughs> he doesn't have it. Your mother's will. Where is it? You'll never find it. Put them in the tower, Grimby, and we'll pay a little visit to Mr. McCorber. <laughs> yeah. Next time, the moldy pit! <laughs> <laughs> well, look on the bright side. At least we don't have to work. Mealy, I'm sure I can escape. You don't give up, do you? There's just one thing that scares me, though. Just one? The cheese monster. Well, if you're ever going to try and escape, now's the time. They've been fattening her up for weeks. She won't be as fast. Why fatten a vulture? Why fatten a turkey? To eat. Oh, Mealy. You guessed it. They're going to cook the cheese monster? <laughs> uh huh. It's for the guards. How can they? <laughs> You're wasting your time, Mr. Grinby. I told you that the will is still in Blunderstone. You're lying. But you'll tell all when you visit the Moldies. <gasps> Not the Moldies. All it takes is just a teensy bit of mold and... I've dealt with mold before. Not this kind. <laughs> oh, it's deadly, Peggotty. It'll cover your entire body. I don't care what it does. I'll never tell. Mr. Huh? Grimby, can you hear me? Grimby! The chimney? Coming? Hello? Mr. Murdstone? Is that you? Catch! <coughs> Look what we found. <laughs> <laughs> Up to it, Davy. Haven't got all day. Sorry, Mealy. Now that's better. Don't want me to tell Mr. Murdstone you're not doing your work. Oh, no. Please, Mealy, don't. <laughs> he looks crushed to me, Mr. Murdstone. It took longer than I thought, Mr. Grimby, and 
Do you know why? Because he believed that someone cared. Cared? Oh, yes. <laughs> Is there anyone? <laughs> now there's no one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Are you sure your Aunt Betsy will help? No, but there is no one else. Too bad she hates boys. I'm not a boy. Oh? Huh. <laughs> okay. So I am a boy. But now at least, I'm a street smart boy. You'd better be. It's a long way to Dover. I'll make it, and I'll come back with help. <gasps> I want to see Davy Copperfield. Visitors ain't allowed in here. You've got to go to Micawber's. I order you to open these gates. We only take orders from Murdstone or Grinby. <gasps> okay, off you go. Uh, j just checking uh, to see if the ropes are secure, sir. They're secure. Get off. Good luck, baby. Off! I demand to see Davy Copperfield this very minute. We're taking you over there, too. Agnes. Come on. Davy, can you hear me? Agnes. Uh-oh. Huh? Yeah. Agnes. Yeah. Agnes. Whoa. Whoa. Stop them! <laughs> Going somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> Eat the <Huh>? buddy! <laughs> Go, Davy! Over the wall! Don't stop, Davy! You oh, got go on, get it back! He's going up on the roof! He's going up on the roof! Davy! Agnes. Why don't you jump, boy? You catch you! <laughs> Get him! Yes, yes, get him! Get him! <gasps> Say cheese! <laughs> well, go, child. Make a run for it. <gasps> Gentlemen, I must have slipped. Clumsy me. That's what you two get for helping Copperfield. <laughs> Mealy, old chap, are you here? I'm here, Macabre. Don't worry. <sighs> worry? I never worry, Mealy, old boy. <laughs> Quick, through that tunnel. They're coming this way. I'm right ahead of you, Mealy. <laughs> Are you sure your Aunt Betsy can help? She can, if the stories about her are true. I just hope that she will. Where are we? We'll see a signpost soon. Maybe over the next hill. I'll go take a look. Oh. Ah, we mustn't let them frighten us, Emma. They could have at least let Wilkins wear his wellies. Right, let's put this place in order. And don't worry, something's going to turn up, believe you me. That's what Wilkins always says. And rightly so. It's a saying worth saying, says I. Why would they be heading for Dover? No idea. Stop eating what we haven't got. Prepare <laughs> the cheese wagon. <laughs> Young Cottlefield's no use to us <laughs> now. Why not let him go? Because he's a loose end, <laughs> Mr. Davy. <laughs> And loose ends must be snipped. Oh. Understand? Oh. Cut. Well. Sliced off. I see. Severed and chopped into little pieces. I understand. I understand. Hmm. Oh, you yes. better. <laughs> Prepare the wagon. There has to be a road somewhere. Thank you for coming with me, Agnes. Remember? All for one and one for all? Mm. Hmm. <laughs> well? Quiet!
Mm, yes, definitely her scent. Fragrance to lavender. Get away? Good. Dover. Of course I know where it is. I know a shortcut. Hear anything? Only my beating heart. How long do you think we've got? As long as we have hope. Then we haven't got long. On the contrary, we've got as long as something turns up. I hope you're right, Macabre. Me too. <gasps> Something turned up, all right. <laughs> Horrible! I wish I knew where we were going. As William Shakespeare never said. Yikes! <gasps> Davy! Agnes? No use. I'll never find her. Oh. 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 Is there anyone? Anyone? One heart I can be a part of. Is there anyone who won't turn me away? Who is waiting to say, I want you? I want She is. They've been this way. <laughs> I think. I'm in no mood for doubt, Mr. Grimby. Uh-oh. Well, well, find them, or I'll get another partner with a reliable nose. Right. <laughs> I'm coming! I'll save you! Agnes, hold on! Hark! The dark 
damsel in distress. Down by the river! <laughs> Careful! Almost there. Hang on. Uh, we'll make it. Come on. Uh, having trouble? Oh. There must be a way out of this. There is. That way. Can you swim? Not in water like that. Oh. Fishing without a pole? Oh, dear me. If they don't have a pole, they should get closer to the water. Excellent idea, Mr. Grimby. Oh. Don't hurt, Agnes. I'll give up if you let her go. Push! <laughs> This terrible piece of news would break your dear little hearts. Davy Copperfield and all that he stood for has been crushed. So get back to work. To work. To work. To work. Davy, dead. Let the moldies come. I don't care anymore. I demand proof. I will not concur with this contemptible contention until I am presented with undeniable proof. What? You don't love me. Of course I love you. No, you don't. Yes, I do. But if I don't water my aspidistras, they'll die. You love your aspidistras more than me. Oh, stop it or I'll put you in your cage. What? That proves it. Play cards with your aspidistras. I'm leaving. Good. And please don't slam the door. I wonder if I'll leave by brawling. What? Oh, oh, this is wonderful! Visitors at last! Do you play cards? Hello? Can you hear me? <laughs> what? <laughs> Who? <laughs> Slow down, please! My robin's a bit rusty. Tweet slowly. <laughs> there. He, he is? <laughs> he did? <laughs> play what? Oh, my word! Wait until I tell Miss Bessie! Oh, dear Davy, you don't know how often I've thought of you. Then you don't hate me. No, my darling boy. Really? Oh, she never means what she says when oh. she's mad. Shush, Mr. Polly. Will you help us? Will I? All hands on deck! Miss Bessie's on the march! Hurt the mainsail! Where they anchor! Kill the boy! Jab the jab! And... and... And batten your hatch, Mr. Puffy. Now, before we do anything, you two must rest. We'll leave for London at first light. We're going on a trip! We're going on a trip! Oh, best my trip first! My God! Yes, Mr. Murdstone and Grinby. You will soon regret the day you laid a finger upon my darling Davy. You? Well, Macabre, nothing's turned up. It isn't over yet. I wonder if being a moldy hurts. We'll know soon enough. Farewell, darling Emma. And all our minor Micawbers. I'll miss you. We're so sorry your daughter's disappeared, your grace. But as long as you're here, you might as well sigh. I was so certain that Agnes would be here. 
Yes, well, she isn't. So, just sign here and here and here. I begged her not to see that boy. Begged her. She's such a headstrong child. Mm, children. Ink. Mm. Get the Duke some ink, would you please, Mr. Grimby? His pen seems to be dry. I was hoping that eventually she'd marry royalty. A baron, perhaps. Even a prince. But a cheese worker. I just don't understand. Do you understand, Mr. Murdstone? Eh? Of course I understand, Your Lordship. We sign the Copperfield estate over to you, and you sign the factory over to us. What has this to do with my daughter? Sign, and then we'll discuss your daughter. <gasps> I say sign. Dad. Oh, I say, what's that ruckus? Oh. <laughs> Hand me that cheese gun. Ah, uh, it isn't loaded, Mr. Redstone. Uh, load it then. No! Over the top! Oh, thanks! Oh! There's my baby! Welcome <laughs> to my warehouse! <laughs> Mudstone? Don't shoot! This is my factory. No one, I mean no one, can take it away! Show yourself, Davy! No! It's off to prison for you two. There's always the circus. Hard wait. Mr. McCorber, you're giving up? Davy! Don't come down here. Unless you have the cure, of course. In which case, please turn up. Hoy <whistles> away! <whistles> 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 Mr. McCorber! Huh? <laughs> Hurry now, before the sun goes down! Is this the Copperfield Orphanage first annual Christmas party? Is this it? Oh, yes! Yeah! Then let us celebrate. After 
all, it's a family Christmas. There's nothing like a family Christmas. You've been gone for yeah. such a long while. Dreamed of being with you this Christmas. Seeing Christmas love in oh. your smile. There's nothing like a family Christmas. <laughs> Christmas is a family time. Like a family Christmas <laughs> When you light the candles And I hang 